Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at 5 automations that you can use on make.com today that you will actually use. Because we've all seen like all these sort of tutorials and templates on make.com, but some of those automations you will not actually use never and and these automations are just examples you can modify them in your own ways if you don't know make.com is a is a leading application when it comes to building um, automations so let's jump on the computer guys and i'll show you the first automation okay guys coming in at number one we got google sheet or excel automations these kind of automations can work for outreach when you're tra tracking orders on an e-commerce store or any type of database you're storing. This can work for many, many purposes, okay? So I have an example automation right here where I have it set up so that every time I input a new name, company, niche in a short description of a company, uh, ChatGPT is gonna create me a custom message for them to send as outreach, right? When you're sending out emails called emails, you need a first line, first line custom writing and many people hire hire like virtual assistants to do it but why do that when you have make.com and when you can automate the whole process of doing so um let's say for example i want the, the line to write i set it up so that choose where to start choose manually just click the 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 row i want it to click ok and run once and it's gonna automatically create that first line we're looking to build without us having to think or or without us having to do anything really just setting up this automation and as you can see here's the first line it's told chat gpt like as as you can see the prompt use the data below to create a pair personalized for first line for an email as you can see here are the variables and here's what it came up with but that's the automation guys you can be creative with it and this was just an example for the outreach part the opportunities for this are literally endless okay coming on to number two we got onboarding automations here is an example of the workflow i use to onboard my new clients or you can even onboard new employees with this. So once you have your pro process laid out, um, you can go ahead and go into make.com and create an automation just like this one, which basically watch and watches any new documents that are signed in Pandadoc, which is a software I use to, to sign documents specifically for my clients so that every new client I get on, on this specific offer is gonna go ahead and send the onboarding Gmail and create a Google Drive folder so that it also creates a Slack channel and invites the, the specific users I want in that Slack channel and it also creates a table creates a record in Airtable sorry so that it can be stored in my in my own client database but you can modify this this uh, automation on what whatever process uh, you're doing and that's pretty much it okay here's another automation I wanted to add this is automation number three so this automation basically checks for new YouTube videos constantly so that it tr transforms it to text and uploads a promotional post for people to go ahead and jump into my YouTube video so it serves like as a promotional kind of bot kind of promotional assistant so that every time I post a YouTube video and then proceeding with ChatGPT to give me a, uh, an example of a post to post on on this these platforms so I do this through two different prompts so that one prompt um, gives me a very general result and this basically creates the the format of the social media post I'm trying to create so if I'm trying to create a post on LinkedIn and it has a certain format I want to use. That's why I'm using the the second prompting for the GPT. And then it just goes and creates a, a text post, okay? So that all my connections on LinkedIn can see that I uploaded a YouTube video. And, and you can get your RSS feed item on, on YouTube. Mm. But yeah, you can get your RSS feed. In my case, is this one right here. And just insert it right here and it will look. Every time you post a YouTube video, you can do basically whatever you want with it. And activate all sorts of automations with it. Okay, so one other very, very useful functionality for make.com is that you can connect it to other applications through webhooks. And you can use this to access APIs. I know it sounds confusing, but this is an example, okay? So I built this chatbot out in Botpress, right? Which is a, basically a, 
a bot builder platform. But I wanted to access the, the e-commerce um, API so I can get an order number once a client asks, hey, can I get my, my order status? Has it shipped yet? Something like that. So what I did is I actually so I created first a webhook, which is basically a way to send in information to the internet, right? And it gives it as a link and you just copy the link and go over and make a post request on the on the chatbot side as you can see here once a customer inputs their their order number it's going to come to make.com and through the webhook go to the woocommerce api and it's going to get that order information based on that order id it received from the webhook and then it's going to give a response which will be the order status. And I have that order status be receiving on the on the chatbot, as you can see right here. This is a little bit more complex. It is also a way to connect multiple apps together. And this literally fixes so much problems when you're trying to build applications or like in this case, a chatbot. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this automation. And lastly, I'm gonna go over uh, an automation I recently created to help me with my content ideas let's say you have a favorite blog post right that posts content on on the topic you upload about and you get reference or ideas from that topic but you don't want to be every day like reading the the content on that on that blog or that newsletter that's why I created this automation so that it can help me create a bunch of different ideas based on what's ha what's been happening daily right so I have this automation and this actually runs every week I have a few other more that run daily but every blog that is posting about AI and automation I just see if they had an RSS feed and the ones that did I actually copied the link to them and created this automation so that every time they post um, I will get chat GPT to read the, the thing and to give me like the top 10 best content topics to create TikToks on it should be listed and contain a short description after okay so that I can get them on notion on my content idea workflow and basically just read them and highlight them all the the ones that are actually important this has saved me so much time in the past i used to like just scroll mindlessly on tiktok to find content ideas but now i just you know review the daily document i get and that way i i'm getting constant new and fresh content ideas without me having to lift a finger right so yeah guys that was it for today remember to sign up with the link below to make.com the best automation software ever and it's completely free guys this will just help me out it's an affiliate link subscribe if you want to see more content like this tutorials on make.com or in my agency journey thank you guys and see you in the next video